Hi everyone, uh, this short little video we're going to have a look at how to create an animated picture or a GIF animation using a program called GIMP. So what we're going to do with this program uh, is we're going to open up three different pictures and each of those pictures um, uh, I've taken in a similar position but each one's moved slightly. So we're going to put those together and save them as an animation. So to begin with, I'm going to go File and Open and find my first image, which I took earlier. Now, I had a little bit of trouble ordering these before. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with the last image in my series and open it. This time I'm going to go File and instead of Open, I'm going to go Open as Layers. So each of these are on a different layer. Okay, so my second image and open as layers and select my last one there. So now what we've got is our three different pictures. Now each of these are in a different layer. If I uncheck and unsee the first image, I can see that my glasses have moved slightly and unselect my second and I can see the bottom layer. Okay, now because this is checked, I'm mainly seeing that top layer image at the moment. At the moment, as an animation, these would move through quite quickly. So what I want to happen is maybe have my start image and my last image last a little bit longer. So to do this, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to duplicate that first layer. So we've now got two of the same image and I'm going to duplicate the bottom layer so that we've got two of the first image, one of my glasses starting to move, and two of this ridiculous picture at the end. So there we have our pictures all set up. Many other things that I could do and customize and um, add some effects to my pictures, but um, that's kind of additional to what we're looking at doing now. What I'm going to do is now save as and I'm going to rename this as um, my animation. And the important thing here is to select the file extension, the file type. And we want to look for GIF, G-I-F, which is a GIF image. Okay, so that's our animation file. Now, after selecting save, it's going to ask what we want to do. And it's saying we can't save as frames, so we're going to select save as animation. Okay, converting to index just means that it's having to scale down, from what I know, um, the colors. Uh, so what we're going to do is just select convert to indexed and export. And lastly, what I've found is a little bit of experimenting was necessary. But around about 200 for me was about the frame rate that I wanted. Um, the shorter the frame rate, the quicker it's going to uh, move between each of your images. I experimented with 2000 and it was seemed like a really long time in between each of those pictures moving. So around about 200 did what I want. Okay, a um, little bit of experimenting, but this works for me now. But a kudos to GIMP and save. So that's gone ahead, let's have a look in my folder now and see if I can find where that's gone to. Um, hopefully in here somewhere I can find it. There's a little image that I played around with earlier. Um, probably should have had a check where I was saving that to. So save as, um, that was saving back in the folder where I opened it from. So let's go back and have a look. And here is my animation, which I need to open up and view with Internet Explorer. And from here, we simply just need to upload that picture in line. And we've got our pretty simple animation. Another one that I prepared earlier after adding a couple of effects. Again, pretty basic, but you get the idea of the sorts of things that you can do customizing a background and playing around. So there you have it.